What's up guys, it's Damien Montes once again with another video on uh, Ar Antarctic Hognose Morph. So this gene just popped out in uh, Vietnam. The guy that originated the gene, No Hu Thai, he's Vietnamese. Um, and he basically just posted up a picture yesterday about uh, a new Antarctic gene that he discovered. Well, he, he discovered a new gene, but he named it Antarctic. And I'm sorry for the birds in the background. I got them. I got them waking up. So we're a busy household. Anyways, let's get straight to the talk. Um, as you guys can see in the screen, I'm on his Facebook, and he's got some few uh, pictures. I just want to go over the pictures and kind of talk to you in uh, detail about what I see and what I think about the pictures. So the uh, the, the first picture we're gonna see is a conda. So his pairing was a conda to a conda, uh, a conda normal to a conda normal. And like we've spoken about in previous uh, videos and uh, Instagram lives, uh, so a lot of inbreeding is going to, um, uh, one of the pros of inbreeding is going to cause you to bring out a lot of the recessive genes that are hidden within the animal. So inbreeding is good because that's how we discover all the recessive genes. So anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, this was an inbred animal, um, which is normal to all uh, due to all the new genes and all the recessives that are coming out. And the reason I'm saying recessive is because he claims it to be recessive. So in this picture, you, you'll see an Ant Antarctic gene morph. Uh, so basically, it kind of acts like an exanthic or a Arctic. They have a very similar um, uh, a coloration. Uh, I do believe it, it, if indeed it is an Antarctic gene, it's got, it's got um, a more saturated tone of blue, which is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So you'll see how the the background is very is very uh, diffumed, is very diffuminized, uh, very very subtle uh, coloration. You'll see how the splotches in the pattern that he's got. Um, it is a conda, and it's very outlined. Um, it does it does make it uh, contrast quite a bit, and just the head stamp. So you would think that it's like a, a, car, a caramel gene because I'm not saying it is the caramel gene. I'm just saying it, it kind of acts like a caramel gene because uh, the head stamp is very dehumanized, very, uh, very soothing, not as, uh, not as, you know, this it's not as marked. It's not a, a strong head stamp. So very, very nice snake, very nice snake. So if it is a recessive gene, it's it's a beautiful animal. So this is the difference between like if if anyone has seen pictures of a uh, of a super arctic. The super arctics almost uh, come out pitch black, IMG style, you know, very black, very dark. This uh, hatchling comes out very, very bluish in a way, and it's just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, so very nice. Uh, I do, I do want to say uh, at this time of the video, my opinion on the Antarctic gene. So, if it is a recessive gene, I mean, we're talking about hitting gold. Because if it is a recessive gene, meaning that if you if you uh, breed an Antarctic to uh, a a a visual uh, a visual Antarctic to a visual Antarctic, your whole clutch should be 100% visual Antarctics. I'm very curious to see a clutch picture. Uh, I mean, I would love to see a whole clutch uh, with of, of these blue animals. Uh, it, it, you know, it would have been very nice. And then another thing that I wanted to say, we'll scroll over to the next picture. Um, a blue snake is, is 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 what we needed in this hobby, because we have a lot of T negatives. Well, we have albino and PPA. We also have uh, a lot of T positives. We have more T positives than than T negatives, which is your caramel, which is your hypos, which is your lavender, your toffee. You know, all those genes are are T positive. And we don't have a blue snake. We have orange snakes. We have red snakes. We have yellow snakes. We have green snakes. Um, we do have a possibility to make a blue snake by doing a sable to exanthic. Um, so that's a storm cloud, and those are really nice because they, you know, they give us that blue snake that uh, a more for a combination we don't have or we don't see uh, too often in the hobby. So. This is very important because uh, blue in reality is not very common in the wild, you know. So 
having a blue snake being a single recessive gene is exactly what we needed in this hobby we have lavender we have purple we have all the colors but we needed that blue snake and to be able to hit a whole bunch of visual blue snakes with one gene that that that's amazing that's amazing so i did notice and i did go um through the pictures and i believe these are all distinct offspring so we know that uh, just by looking at, at, at this picture he he was able to bring it you know he was able to uh reproduce normal so so that's just beautiful i mean that's a that's a beautiful normal just blue um that snake is is very different if you if you notice a head stamp you, you see that line that comes that comes down and then you see the two splotches on the side well if you go back to that picture that line is kind of dehumanized and you have a uh, smaller distinct uh, uh, splotches and patterns and then you have this almost uh, twin like looking pattern uh, twin spot and on this one um, so you know it's a different animal because these are more elongated um, yeah just very nice very beautiful animal they look uh, they look I mean just look at that pattern right there uh, it, it kind of looks like the one that we just saw in this picture uh, very interesting very interesting and um, I do want to see a clutch uh, full of these blue snakes because I have you know I just I just want to I just want to see and make sure it's a recessive gene um, it's just I, I can't believe it this has like a red uh, tint uh, to the pattern just beautiful beautiful the head is, is very distinct uh, another blue snake just Antarctic is gonna give you that blue that blue tint I think I think it's like a conda uh, I'm pretty sure it's a conda it's not a normal um, just very beautiful very subtle uh, dehumanized as it as it it does look a little bigger I'm 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 kind of wondering if it uh, the more it sheds if it if it gets clearer like the like the Arctic over time so you have that blue tint to it and just very nice very nice Antarctic super Arctic Antarctic super Arctic so that's a side-by-side -side comparison but yeah and then this is a supposedly an albino with the with the gene with the Antarctic gene but there you have it guys um, my uh, my thoughts on it the hobby needs a blue snake uh, you know it needed a, a, a new snake because in nature it's very hard to see blue animals and when you do see blue animals uh, they're visually appealing there's there's there is a lot of animals that are blue but not as many as you would think you you'll see the darker pigmentation animals just as reds yellows uh, browns you know black those are a little bit more common but the the least uh, common at least in in hog noses is is is, is the color blue so if it is a recessive gene we hit the jackpot um he did he hit the jackpot and it's going to be very interesting to see how it evolves over time and yeah we'll we'll see how how things go i appreciate you guys watching the video i'll keep you guys updated on all the all the info on the antarctic gene the originator is from china he's not this guy the guy that i just showed you he's just a, a person who showed the pictures um, at this time, the originator does not want to disclose any more information. As of now, he claims it to be a recessive gene, a conda to a conda pairing. Um, he discovered it back in 2015, but just uh, doing his due diligence and running, uh, running through the genetics to see exactly what it is. So we'll keep you guys updated on everything that comes out. And stay safe, everybody. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.